Today we're going to take um, some common Connect East products and actually install on a backup sump. Um, we have a single and a dual uh, capability. This would be for a single battery if you just wanted to put one on there. I live in kind of a wet area, so we're going to use a dual battery setup for our backup sump as sometimes our power can go out for one to two days and actually causes basement flooding and so on and so forth. So I've got all the tools laid out that you need, just a common crimp, wire cutter, stripper, and a couple of the Connectees products. First thing I'm going to do is hook the Connectees um, battery side up to our battery. Um, get that all connected. You can see how simple the Connectees product is. Um, it's a couple of uh, easy to use tools, half inch, 9 16 inch wrench, depending on the battery that you use. A couple of marine style batteries, which are deep cycle batteries, which last longer in this particular application. Mount the positive on this side. I want to keep it underneath the lid. I'm actually going to curve the connection a little bit so it stays underneath the lid. Positive on the positive side, red to positive, black to negative. And with the Connectees product, you can't screw these up. They actually connect positively, positive to negative, you can't put them in wrong. So once you get them connected, you always have them in right. I'm just going to tighten up those bad product a little bit. And I've already got my sump put in down in there. It actually is a one-piece unit made by another company. So I've got all the connections here for that, for the power lead and so on and so forth. Here's the two battery connections and these are usually the problem where this wire work road on here, you've probably all seen that, it causes some corrosion and green things. We're just going to cut these off. I'm going to take a one single application side of this battery and strip these wires real quickly. I'm going to put the black end in first. Usually you want to always do your negative one first. Take the crimper. We always recommend um, using heat shrink on any type of uh, application like that because it keeps all the corrosion out and actually makes the connections more positive. So you'll never have to deal with them again once that you've actually put a Connectees product on. Again, we're going to take the black negative. Crimp that down. Take the red one. Make sure it's on the positive side. Get that all connected. Put our heat shrink back over the top. Like so, then just use a common hair dryer, which just about every household has. So 
we've got the connections all done there. We'll let them cool off a little bit. Now we're going to take and actually use our parallel kits. You can find these on Connect Ease. That's connect-ease.com. Um, this is a parallel kit. So what it does is it actually hooks up to your particular battery like so. Put this one in like there. And now those batteries are actually in parallel. So that parallel connection will actually use both of those batteries to power that um, backup sump pump. So it'll last for probably somewhere between days or possibly even three or four days depending on how often that sump pump runs. Um, all we have to do then is connect our connect ease connection up to here, plug in our unit and we're ready to go. So I'm actually going to take this unit and put it together. This is the power lead for it that'll actually use their own leads which we did put on this scenario which is actually charging these batteries and then actually runs the power from it. That lead actually goes into the equipment, connects as so. We connect the connect these piece to the batteries. out the back of the case here. Just adjust these a little bit. And now I have a dual battery setup for sump pump. Protect the basement so it doesn't uh, flood when things get wet. And if I need to put or change one of these batteries, take one off. Maybe one of we use one for my bolt or so on and so forth. The Connect E system just unsnaps. I can take that battery off and use it. I can go charge it again. All I have to do is bring it back and put the connection in, snap it together and it's good to go. The CE12 VB1K which is on Connect E's, connect ease.com actually is the single one if we just wanted to hook a single battery up. Or we used our other kit which is a parallel battery kit which hooks up two of these in parallel so you have double the battery strength and those are the two products we use today. That's a CE12 VBP1K, which is designed for this particular solution or ice houses or anything else where you need multiple uh, strength out of a 12 volt battery. So, thanks again from Connectees. I hope you try our products. Uh, see you on the water.